Hi, it's Susan. A pick list or a drop down field in your database is a great way to standardize your data to get better reporting out of your CRM. But the pick lists that come as a default in, in Zoho are, have a limited set of options for you to use. So most people like to add some of their own values to the list. It's pretty easy to do, but keep in mind you have to be an administrator in order to make these changes. And when you make the changes, they're available to everybody in the CRM. Let's see how easy it is to do. In our database, we have the industry field in two areas. We have it in the leads module where we have an industry field that's here. It's a drop down. We also have it in the accounts module where uh, when a lead is converted, the industry will go over and there is a set of options there. In order to change the industry fields, we're going to go to tools. Um, under modules, we're going to click on leads because that's the one we want to change first. When we go to the leads uh, module, then I'm going to point to the industry field and notice that the uh, settings widget appears. I'm going to click it and say edit properties. Here I can add one of the values that I want to add is manufacturing, which is not in the list. So I can just add it like right here by clicking on the plus and typing in. Um, I could also add options in bulk by going to manual entry and typing it in right here if I wanted to. Uh, but now the values are, are out of alphabetical order, so I could drag them if I wanted to or I can just click this little A to Z alphabetical sorting up here at the top and it'll automatically sort them for me. So I'm going to click done, but we're not yet, we're not done yet. Uh, you will need to also click save lay, layout in order to make the changes. So now if I go to back to leads, I can make um, select a value of manufacturing and I know that it'll be there. But the thing about uh, drop down fields, pick list fields, is that um, even when you go and add them to leads and leads are connected to accounts, when I go into accounts and I look at the industry field, uh, manufacturing is not there. So you have to repeat the process to go into tools uh, and under customization, you, you pick the modules and go to accounts and I'm going to pick industry edit properties and do the same thing here and click done. Oh, sorry, forgot to alphabetize and now click done. And then I'm going to click save. Now you have those values in both areas. Another way that you can do that um, to make updates uh, to any pick list field is by uh, getting the values in a text file and copying and pasting. So here is the list of values that come as a default with Zoho as their industry field. Uh, I actually have another uh, list that I like a lot better that I've developed over time that I think has a better list. It seems like the pick list in Zoho is more geared toward the technical industry or uh, IT industry and I wanted a broader list of options. So one of the things you can do is just open up a notepad and get the values that you wanted and I can go into industry, edit properties, and I can if I want to to delete all of these just hit that minus sign a whole bunch of times and then go to add options in bulk, manual entry, paste, control V paste and I'm going to add choices. I wanted to delete that last entry there and click done. Again, don't forget if you add them here in accounts, you will need to also add the same exact list inside of leads. Uh, I'll leave a link here below the video so that you can uh, download your own uh, list that you can start with if you want to replace the list that's already part of Zoho. And if you did, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you get notification when I release new videos. As always, if you need any help, give us a shout um, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great week.